Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we are celebrating the achievement of women uh, and their role in development and the economy, but also we remember the challenges, the challenges faced by Sudanese uh, women, including uh, rape, uh, sexual violence, and sexual slavery, uh, as well as the complex that faced uh, in the accessing the medical, psychological, logic, uh, legal, and social support. We stand with the women in Sudan and everywhere supporting them and endorsing their struggle against violence and rape uh, with the wars. Uh, and here we amplify their voices to, and encourage them to preserve. My presentation today with the violence against uh, a woman in the Sudanese war, uh, we go uh, in a uh, very fast way to analyze the causes, the effect, protection, protection and measures and intervention. Next uh, slide, please. Okay. Uh, through this presentation, I will give you a, a little bit of background about the rape and gender-based violence uh, throughout all the Sudanese uh, wars, the civil wars that are Sudan go through it, and uh, together against rape and sexual uh, campaign, which is a campaign that are make a voice of the social to compact this uh, phenomena, the current situation, what's happened so far, the challenges, and the intervention. Next. We know that the issue of uh, rape and gender-based violence in Sudan wards are deeply rooted in, in, uh, rooted in the country's complex history and social dynamics. The, the civil war started in Sudan uh, a year before the, it gained their independence in 1956. It started in 1955 until 1972, and the second civil war from 1983 to 2005 until the peace agreement were assigned. During this uh, two, uh, the long civil war, thousands of Sudanese women were, have been uh, suffered from sexual violence and just as rape and sexual addiction. But unfortunately, there is no uh, uh, confirmed data from the both sides of the boards or the national or international organization about the, nine, the real number of these women that had been suffered from these incidents. And uh, unfortunately, during the uh, sign the, 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 the agreement paints, they didn't mention anything about the punishment or criminalizing the two posts of war or the different parties that are violate this uh, woman. So it's a, a crime without with a punishment. During the four conflicts, which also uh, uh, showed our had a, a, a huge number of women that are struggling from this phenomena. There is no reporting. And uh, out of that, the government is forbidden the woman to report in the police station about the incident that are passed through. Uh, uh, we can mention here two uh, incidents that happened between the two parties that are uh, committed in this uh, war. One is uh, raping a whole school study, secondary school. It's called Tawila Secondary School. Uh, the, the paramilitia Janjaweed at that at lead by, uh, by Musa Lad at that time, they raped the teachers, the students of these schools, and there is no punishment or even a committee that are criminalized this uh, incident. Another one it, it uh, conducted or uh, done by the military of uh, the Sudanese, the Sudan military. Uh, in one day, in one night, they raped about 210 women uh, in a village called Tabat, and it is a famous incident that passed also without a punishment. Next. And during the December Revolution uh, in 2018, after the massacre of uh, Sitan uh, that occurred in Monday, June uh, the 3rd, uh, there is a large number of girls and women raped, tortured, killed, including cases of abduction and enforced disappearance. And there is a, a committee that are famous uh, in Sudan, it's called a deep committee. And until now, there is no any criminalizing of the 
the the the the, the one uh, who are committed for these uh, crimes. Next, and then come the biggest wave of rape and sexual violence uh, had ever Sudan passed through. And this is the second time that the, the rape and sexual violence have been systematically systematically used as a weapon at the war at the war weapon at the war for a war weapon against the the, the Sudanese uh, woman. Uh, it's happened in many parts of the, in Sudan, Darfur region, Khartoum states, and later at Jazeera states. Next. Next slide, please. Okay. So there is a need to uh, uh, the society to give, because if the government and the Sudan army and the paramilitia, all of them are committed by doing the, such a sexual violence against women, so the society must be stand against it. So together against rape, sexual violence campaign, it's represent the voice of the community against this uh, phenomena. Next. Uh, this, uh, uh, because uh, this campaign reflects the social response to the violation. Next. Next slide, yeah. The aims of this uh, campaign is to raise awareness about the issue of rape and sexual violence, encourage society um, to participate in combating, combating the violations and to confront them by the possible, all possible means and to support uh, survivors from these violations. Next. Okay. Uh, who is, can, 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 can be part of this campaign? This campaign, it have a different uh, people with different background, but despite their diversity, they all agree in one goal, which is protect the members of the Sudan society, including children, women, and men from violation and sexual violence uh, uh, accompanying with these conflicts. Next. Okay. The, the, the campaign, uh, one of its, uh, to make reports about the situation or the current situation about the sexual uh, violence, they have issued two reports. The first reports, uh, uh, it's documented the cases uh, from April 15th to February 2024. Uh, 2024. Uh, uh, they are documented 189 cases of rape and sexual violence. Uh, 185 of them were women and five are, uh, uh, four are men. Uh, and about 50% of the victims are children under the age of 18. Uh, most of the, or half of this happened in the uh, North uh, Darfur and uh, followed by Khartoum State and Central Darfur. Next. This is the second, the second report also documented about 57, 56 uh, cases, uh, 53 of them are female, uh, uh, 25 uh, percent of these they are children. And this and, and here the, uh, the new state is uh, entered, it's uh, Jazeera, which had uh, recorded the highest number of uh, victims. Next. Okay. What is the challenges that are faced, th this woman are faced through these traffic uh, incidents? The first one is a female survivors face the difficulties in accessing unnecessary medication for sexually transmitted disease uh, and else due to destruction of medical infrastructure. If we know that uh, 80, 80, 82 percent of the uh, medical infrastructure in Sudan was destroyed during during this conflict. Uh, you, we know that uh, uh, with going through this uh, this incidents, the, the the victims are traumatized, go, need a, a, a psychological support, though they can 
compact or can tolerate this uh, incidence, that there is a lack of necessary psychological support. Uh, sometimes after the rape, there is a, some of them they are being being pregnant. This pregnant woman also they are facing a difficulties in receiving medical care or psychological care. Next, another challenge that there is an obstacle to uh, pursuing legal procedures, and here related to pregnancy or abortion or whatever. Because we know uh, in the because most of the Sudanese uh, states is under uh, the, the inside the conflict zone, they are lacking a strong legal structure that can help this woman to do their legal procedures. Even the the the, the places that under the geographical and military challenges are uh, have difficulties to uh, work in it. Next. So regarding to these reports, uh, although these numbers are, are uh, high, but we think that is the iceberg of the incidents because due to the complexity of the Sudanese society, the affair of stigma, uh, the, the difficult to, to reach the, the proper place to, to, to report the different uh, cases of different the sexual violence, Still, these are need a, a more uh, surfaces lacking. To, to stop the violation, uh, violation is directly linked to call to uh, to stop the war. Because if the war is not stopped, we can't reach this woman in different places and give them the 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 surfaces they need to it. Uh, the, the the campaign also emphasizes the importance of. A, a legal uh, enforcement and and tightening that the, the laws that are uh, go to, uh, to to punish the the uncriminalized the the one who committed or con condemned with the sexual violence because uh, when we go through the the, the history of uh, sexual violence in Sudan, all of these incidents, all, all of these crimes have been passed away without with a punishment, which you encourage to do more and more violations. Next. Next, please. Okay. So, and uh, we, we emphasize uh, again uh, the necessity of providing a legal, medical, and psychological uh, support for women in such cases. Next. Uh, the intervention that uh, we think we need, and uh, maybe all of us uh, discuss about uh, another intervention that can be proper uh, to 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 uh, to push the 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 the. the, the the, to compacting this problem, uh, that relevant institution, bodies, and media should provide necessary medical support for the survivors, even even the pregnant one, advocating to the right of pregnant women, and comprehensive psychological support should be uh, provided and psychological immediate or uh, subsequent uh, periods after the incident had had happened. Next. Awareness and, and, and legal education must be focusing, providing legal awareness and education to survivors uh, regarding their rights, uh, cross-border wars and international. And in this, uh, in this uh, point, I want to emphasize or say that, uh, why do we think that we need to more action from the world out the world? Because the, the, the civil society have nothing to do with this woman. They are, uh, ha have no power to make uh, a solution. But if the United Nations through the UN Women or other, other entities that can go and, and focus in this, why women are always uh, the, the war they are fighting on, on their bodies? Why sexual violence during war it's, uh, the, the women are suffer from? How do we can do and uh, build uh, strong uh, entities that can criminalize this uh, 
the, the, the different parties that are included in these violations. Uh, next. I would like to thank you uh, for hearing me and hearing the voice of Sudanese women that is struggling and still they are struggling. And you, uh, if you had, if you uh, wish to join us in this campaign, this our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and all the, 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 the media, you can support us. Thank you very much.